ஆழ்வார் எம்பெருமானார் ஜி ஆர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜி ஆர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் சார் ஐ ஹேட் அ கொஸ்டின் Uh, I don't know, I'm not sure whether this is the right uh, uh, way of asking. Hanuman has been declared as one of the devatas uh, uh, who was a great bhakta of Rama. But Bhagavan right. in um, uh, Bhagavad Gita says that you don't have to go to any devatas for any of your needs. You can come directly mm-hmm. to me. uh uh for any of your requirements so uh, we read sundara kandam we chant hanuman chalisa and all those things so i i want more clarification on this uh, uh sir thank you so okay. much okay so here the concept of devata is um specific specific to those celestial beings who are in the higher worlds such as brahma loka swarga loka so starting from brahma uh, rudra and then subramanya and then there is uh, indra varuna surya chandra vayu agni all of these personalities they are given special uh, roles and responsibilities in the conduct of this universe so those are specifically identified as devatas now hanuman being declared as devata is not the same as these other devatas hanuman is more as you said a rama bhakta a devotee just like how we see garuda how we see adishesha how we see alvars acharyas so we see them as great bhaktas of bhagavan and being a bhakta one qualifies to be worshiped by other bhaktas because bhagavan himself says more than my worship more than worshiping me i enjoy the worship of my devotees my bhaktas so he himself becomes very happy when his bhaktas who are totally surrendered to him totally dependent upon him when they are glorified and then they are worshiped so when we look at the devatas they are in a different league they are specifically meant for the administration of the universe and being in such powerful position they are also worshiped by those who seek certain comforts certain luxuries in this world because they are having the powers to bestow such wishes but there is the other league which is the bhagavatas bhagavan's bhaktas so when they are present they don't have any such responsibility as administering the world managing some portfolio or along those lines they are specifically fully engaged in worshiping bhagavan uh, serving him in various ways singing about him um, glorifying him all of these things are done by such bhagavatas when they are there if we worship them then that will be very pleasing for bhagavan and hanuman is one such bhakta one such one such so worshiping him is um very very uh, worthwhile and very very enjoyable for bhagavan himself But the only thing is we should not be worshiping any of these personalities whether it is bhagavan or bhagavatas whether is whether it is bhagavan or is bhaktas we should not be worshiping them for material benefits we should only be worshiping them for our own um, swarupam our swarupam is to worship bhagavan and bhagavatas so that is the only purpose of worshiping them is to fulfill our true nature and we should not be seeking any worldly benefits from 
anyone, whether it is Bhagavan or from his bhaktas, including Hanuman. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Alvar in Perumana, Jir Thirudigade Sharanam, Jir Thirudigade Sharanam. To learn such valuable information about our Sri Vaishnava Sampradaya, please download Koyil, K O Y I L app from Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Our website is koyil.org, K O Y I L dot O R G.